everyone, I'm Linda Loveland with this week's NC Farm Bureau Report. We're at the State Fairgrounds for a very big announcement right before the Got to Be NC Festival. Sandy Stewart is joining me now to say a little more about this announcement, something we've been waiting for. I'll let you get the good news. Well, we are so excited today that we've been able to announce that North Carolina agriculture and agribusiness is now worth over $100 million. The latest numbers are $103.2 billion in value for our state, and it's just, that's an incredible number number when you think about it. When Commissioner Troxer took office in 2005, we stood at $59 billion. And we've remained the state's largest industry, but we've almost doubled that number in, what, 18 years. So really, really excited to finally cross this milestone. Commissioner Troxler, we've been talking about that number for quite a few years now, and this is huge because it went up um, about $10 billion from last year. And these numbers, let's say, for from 2021, what has been the difference? Well, you, before that, let's remember before that, our value went down a little bit because we had, we had hurricanes, we had COVID, we had supply chains, we had all of those things. And then as that's begun to ease up a little bit, we've continued the march, you know, towards that $100 billion mark. So $10 billion greater value than last year. These are 2021 statistics, and we think 2022 is an even better year. So I'm anxious to see what that number is going to look like next year. So what do you do now? I mean, the 100 billion point was, I mean, that's a huge goal. We've hit it and, and surpassed it. What next? That's a tough question for you. Well, you, you, you keep your nose to the grindstone, you know. Um, yeah, Commissioner Troxer is not going to let this, be, you know, none of us want to law, you know, we, we're going to celebrate today, but we're going to look forward um, because we have a hungry population to feed. We've got a growing population to feed, not just in our state, but across the globe. And so what's the next goal? I don't know, 110, 100. We're going to continue to set goals and we're going to continue to reach it because we've got such a great agricultural community in North Carolina. So many partnerships with Farm Bureau, other commodity groups, uh, but remember our land-grant universities and the technologies that are developed there every single day. Some of them are incremental advances, but then every now and again we'll get those breakthrough advances and, and, it, you know, and they're working on this every day. It's truly amazing what our farmers are able to do, doing so much more with less these days. It, it, as uh, Senator Brent Jackson said today, they lay it on the line every day. Their livelihood, everything, it's a, it's, it's a risky business. You're, you're prone to the, the, you know, the weather and all of those other kind of things, but they're willing to go out there and do it, and, and we want to provide them with all the tools possible to be as productive as possible. Well, Sandy, thanks so much, and congratulations to you, Commissioner Troxler, and the, the Department of Agriculture for all that you've done. But thank you for that, but thank you for all the partnerships as well. Very good. All right, that'll do it for us, uh, topping $100 billion for economic impact for agriculture in North Carolina. We'll see you next week for another NC Farm Bureau report.